Aloha, Scott Sullivan Bell coming to you live from Austin, Texas, November 11, 2016. 8.35 in the morning, perfect day to talk about sales. And I want to talk to you about a form of sales sabotage. I'm writing with a sales guy a couple weeks ago and he, he does a good job. He gives a presentation, he talks to the people, he shows them what's going on. He's got a good product, service, widget, or gizmo. And then he gets to the end and he asks for business and the people say yes. And then all of a sudden, he like his, his demeanor changed and he tells the people, I'm surprised you bought from me. I didn't think that you were going to. And then for a second, the buyers kind of waffled and they, eh, and they almost said, no, all right, we're going to go ahead and wait. The whole thing is like, he should have kept his confidence through the entire sales process. And then once we were done, got to the car and said, man, I didn't think those people were going to buy. But you know, from the, from the co-pilot's perspective, I thought that they were going to, it seemed like they were going to, but for whatever reason, something in the sales process, something in the objection process, something just caused him to question his abilities. And it made the really, the end of the sales process really weird. And it left it on a sour note. So like everybody was at a high, everybody was like, yeah, good job. You know, I really, I'm really looking forward to it. I thought everything was well. And then like he threw this weird statement out there. So first off, you have to be very careful once the deal is done, because you can talk yourself right out of the sale. This guy almost talked himself out of the sale by being surprised and having the people go, yeah, we, we don't know if we were going to be ready to buy or not. Created a huge problem for him. He made the sale. It went through the transactions done. You know, I talked to him afterwards, but just know that sometimes that your reaction to the buy, even if you're surprised that they're buying, can set off the buyer, okay? Now, if you could do a small favor for me in the box down below, leave a comment, question, or story, that'd be fantastic. To the right or to the left, there's a subscribe button. You know what you gotta do, you gotta subscribe. And then you can send it out to all your friends via StumbleUpon, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. Why not even LinkedIn? Scott Sullivan Bell. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, aloha.